going on YouTube uh, you know we got a new video series that I'm gonna start here and I think you guys are gonna like it um, maybe you won't I'm sure somebody will hopefully but I've noticed that when I look at like templates that are on YouTube for streamers to use for broadcasting the overlays are kind of you know really like no effort put into them for templates I mean I know it's like kind of like you know teach a man to fish and you feed him for you know his life but like at the same time not everybody is at that point and do we really want them to just you know i mean like let's bring the entire quality level of the community up you know so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this all right so Here's the basic template that I'm going to be giving to you guys for free in the description below. Go ahead and download it. It's all yours. And as you can see, it's pretty good looking. Yeah, toot my own horn. Uh, no, anyways, let's just get right into how to edit it because it's, you know, fairly simple, okay? When you want to save it, you disable this. There you go. Boom. All right. Now, color. Open up, double click on the edit color box. Bring this like this find a color you like make sure the nuclear counter doesn't get washed out if you go to this end of the spectrum the nuclear counter starts to get washed out towards you until you get to the blues that green right there is pretty good but if you go back here like to the yellow not really that great of an idea okay anyways this is where I meant it to be so here you go looks like oil with water in it up at the top here and stuff like that all right pretty easy to edit that right guys okay <clears throat> next we'll just put your YouTube in there works pretty well put your Twitter in there works pretty well right okay it's pretty simple in my opinion main logo area again let's go ahead and change the text and there you go now if you wanted to per se import a logo like this you can go ahead go down here copy the layer style paste it onto this and there you go You're, okay, if you have a simple logo that's in vector form it'll be pretty easy to use if not don't worry about it but you can bring it up like this go ahead bring it behind the main logo area and you can paste the layer style again on the main logo area to make it look like it steps off of your logo a little bit more now it's up to you how you want your logo you can kind of shrink it down with you know much smaller like this so it's kind of just barely hangs off stuff like that I personally think that the little the bigger hang off looks good but what this wasn't really designed to look like that it was designed to look like this so that being said you have one more little spot to edit and that is the cam box or green screen box as I have it labeled on the uh, actual template and you can put either you know something like this you can put donation whatever you know uh, it's re it's really up to you and uh, if you want to use your logo you want to use uh, any anything of that matter you really can you can eliminate that completely and uh, you know that's up to you um, this is set to fit a cam a 16 by 9 cam uh, you may have a little bit of trouble fitting a square cam on there uh, completely. If you have a green screen, that's not really going to be a worry. Um, but yeah, you know, this has been short and sweet, and this is how you edit the overlay that I've provided in uh, the description below. If at any point you've liked the content that in this video, hit that subscribe button or the like button if you're already subscribed, or both. Either way, you're awesome. Thank you for watching, and thank you for downloading. Thank <laughs> you.